All right, let's continue on with our uh, report exploration. So now we've got user composition here. And this is just a, a, a handy way <clears throat> All right, let's keep going with a report here. Uh, the next report we want to look at is actually user sessions. Uh, so by default, Amplitude tracks uh, sessions uh, within the product. This is a, a concept that's quite popular, uh, especially coming from Go the Google Analytics world. But not every tool does it. Uh, the reason why is this typically requires some computation and a little bit more um, philosophy around how data should be tracked. That is, it's not just the data being collected, it has to be organized and put together into something that's called a session. And then you have different rules, like how, how long should a session be? You know, if someone opens an app, it should you start counting five seconds in or 10 seconds in? So you have a lot more options to choose. Nonetheless, app to track that across all their SDKs and you have options to, for choosing how, uh, how you want to track sessions. And then we get access to this report here, the session length report. And then here, right away, we can, we can start with a basic one and say a session length distribution. Uh, so we just get a sense of, uh, depending on how, um, how long sessions are, they get grouped into different categories, right? So how many users uh, are doing sessions between uh, 30 to 60 minutes? So we see it's about 2% about of all the users versus 79% you know, of all the users have a session that's an hour or more longer on average. <clears throat> Just like before, we have all our, all our different ways to filter users. We can, we can filter them by a word class or maybe by a specific event, we can add segments, we can group them by specific uh, user properties. So all those options are here. Let's also look at uh, average session length. So this is just a, a simple line chart and we get what is the average session length over time. By default, this probably would be very useful. You wanna likely filter this, uh, maybe do it by let's say platform, right? To try to understand if the session length is different across iOS, web, Android, and so on, or maybe any other user trait, uh, user property. And then we also have average sessions per user. So let's actually remove the platform so we can see it in a simplified state. So now we have how many, you know, what's the average length of, of users uh, on a, any given day? This is actually, we have daily. We can of course go uh, weekly. We can see the number increases. So, you know, what's the average number of sessions on a weekly basis or monthly basis or daily basis, whatever that may be. And just like before we have our tables, we can, we can explore, we can, say we can do any, everything we want out of this report. So this is a, a really handy way to explore the idea of sessions, uh, which is uh, quite uh, relevant for most products uh, and try to understand how sessions differ depending on different user properties or actions or any other segments that you're, you're analyzing.